Officials indicate that voting action here at Precinct 323 was pretty heavy. But there was also another kind of electoral action today. This silhouetted fellow usually books bets on football games only. But on this, a Tuesday during football season, the Ford-Carter match was the only game in town. What are your odds on the election today? Uh, I got Ford to five. Why? Uh, well, a couple of reasons. I'm in Dallas is one reason. And I, you know, and I know I know who my betters are. And most of them like Ford. I did uh, know one guy that wanted Carter, and I made Carter 13 to 10. I just make it whoever calls. I make a line and let them shoot at it. You know. Why are you booking the election? Well, the, the reason I do that, I'll book nearly anything that any of my players want to do. I, you know, I really don't care what it is as long as it's a thing I feel like I can make about 50-50 with the odds. And they like it. You know, they like the action and shit. They'll, they should, uh, they'll keep coming back to me, you know, mm -hmm. next time. Who did you vote for? I didn't vote. <laughs> who would you bet on? Uh, who would I bet on? I believe I would bet on Ford, I believe. You don't seem too certain? No, no, I'm not. You know, it's a toss-up the way I've been watching TV. This presidential election has been pockmarked by polls. Harris, Gallup, AP, UPI, The New York Times. One local TV station even polled Texas State fairgoers. And there's been the normal assortment of bread loaf, drinking straw, and even a toilet tissue poll. And now... Channel 13's exclusive bookie poll with a random sampling of one indicates a very slight advantage for Gerald Ford. Uh, but don't bet on it.